If Washington University students want to return to campus this fall, they must get a COVID vaccine first. It is the first university in our area to issue such a mandate. And our Tracy Henson is live outside WashU with reaction from students and doctors. Tracy. And the dog ate my vaccine card will not be an acceptable excuse come fall here at Washington University. And the students I talked with say they're not mad about it. I mean, if we're all going to be together in a classroom, we better take the necessary precautions in order to be safe and in order for us to be healthy. Andre's sentiment was exactly that of other students I bugged for an interview near campus. Most of them were actually already vaccinated or nearly there. I'm about to get my second dose. Um, I really have no problem with it. I think it will just like allow us to get back to college faster and have like a normal experience quicker. The quote normal for students already includes vaccines. Students got an email from Washington University administrators today saying if they plan on attending classes on the Danforth and medical campuses this fall, they will need to be fully vaccinated for COVID-19 before the term starts. Like having the COVID vaccine is just another vaccine that is already required in our vaccination records like any other school does. Measles and chicken pox would be examples of vaccines already required to attend select schools. So adding a COVID-19 one to the mix would not be out of the ordinary. It's a unique time as far as for institutions to say, hey, for the greater good and the safety of all, we're requiring that. and. Uh, I can understand where they're coming from because, again, it's a safe vaccine and it's the best way for all of us to uh, get to broader herd immunity. And like SLU's Dr. Broom, Dr. Tapey with Affinia Healthcare says vaccination is the best way out of this pandemic. I definitely think vaccines are one of our best tools to get out of this pandemic. So I would encourage all of us who, you know, are eligible to receive vaccines to do so. And that Washington University will make exceptions for students with religious or medical needs that would require them not to get a vaccine. Outside the Danforth campus, I'm Tracy Henson, five on your side.